Okay, so the ladies draw for the French Open has just come out, and there are some very interesting first row matches, some big names taking on some very dangerous unseated players. Let's go to the withdrawal list because there's a lot of players that have actually pulled out last minute. All right, so the withdrawal list for the ladies, Simona Halep, of course, not playing due to being suspended. We've got Jennifer Brady pulling out, Van Udvank, Teague, Anissa Mova. Tomanovic also pulled out last minute. She has uh, still recovering from that knee problem. Rodokanu pulled out. Bedosa also pulled out only a few hours ago. And Saville also going to be missing from this year's event, recovering from knee surgery as well. But let's go and have a look. The top section of the draw. Here it is, Chad. Here is the top section of the draw. Nobody gets a buy in the first round. you got 32 seeds in this one in a slam. Sviontek, she takes on Buxer in the first round. Winner of that match will take on either a qualifier or Lou in the second. Then you got Pedersen taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Wong or Buzkova in the second round. Then you've got an absolute banger of her first round there with uh, number 18 seed Azarenka taking on Andrescu. Champ v. Champ first round. Love to see it. Winner of that will take on either Kalinskaya or Navarro. Then you've got Zhu taking on Davis. Winner of that will take on either Sharenko or Krajikova. 13th seed. So, look, if you're a Sviantec fan, you'll like that draw. I mean, the, the toughest opponent, obviously, is big, scary Krajikova, but... The way she's been playing lately, Krajikova hasn't been in good form. So maybe there's a chance that uh, Krajikova doesn't even make the fourth round and Sviantec doesn't have to worry. Uh, but obviously Azarenka and Andrescu are also very, very tricky in that section. In the next section of the draw, the next quarter of the draw, you've got uh, Kudamatova, the number 11 seed, taking on Schmidlova. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Kachova in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Meljanovic. Winner of that will take on either Kanepi or Keys. 20 seed. Kanepi always a tough, scary player in the second round. First round, nobody wants to play her. Then you've got Kalanina taking on Parry. Kalanina, of course, making the uh, Rome final a couple weeks ago, or a week ago now. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Risk. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Grabber. Winner of that match will take on either Masarova or Goff, the number six seed in the second round. So that section is very, it's an interesting section. I mean, you've got, you know, Goff, who made the final last year. Kudamatova's made back-to-back -back semifinals of big tournaments. Kalanino is off, coming off the Rome final. So this section's interesting. And of course, this section will take on the Sviantec section. So you could be getting Kudamatova versus Sviantec, or maybe Sviantec taking on Goff in that quarterfinal, or maybe even Krajikova. You can cause the upset against Sviantec taking on Kudamatova or Goff if we're going by the big seeds. So second section of the draw, you can see there Rabakina, number four seed. She takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Niskova or Kovinic in the second. Then you've got Boral taking on Tormo. Winner of that will take on either Martic or Rogers in the second round. Then you've got Alexandrova taking on Tomova. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Friedsum in the second round. Then you've got Marino taking on Schneider. The winner of that will take on either Maria Tatiana Maria or Hadaj Maya, the 14th seed in the second round. But we're backing up. I mean, she's got to like her chances. Martic, maybe, or Rogers, if you want to go by seeds. In the third round, Alexandrova, Hadaj Maya can be tough, but Rabakina's uh, draw is not terrible. All right, next section of the draw, you can see we've got Kvitova taking on Chucky Reto. Winner of that will take on a qualifier in the second round because you've got two qualies in the first round going at it. Then you've got Conservate taking on Pera. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Vekic, 22nd seed in the uh, in the second round. Then you've got Castella taking on Paolini. Winner of that will take on on either another qualifier or Bandle in the second. Uh, then you've got Yanni Sajevic taking on Dodden. Winner of that will take on either Bronzy or the number seven seed Jabur in the second round. So on Jabur, uh, decent draw. I mean, this section, Jabur's the standout. And, you know, she didn't, she lost in the first round of the French Open last year, which wasn't uh, wasn't great, but she uh, she has a pretty decent draw. Castella obviously being uh, being tough. Vekic can be tough. Kvitova can be tough. And of course, this section will take on the Rabakina section. So we could be getting Rabakina versus Jabur in a quarterfinal. We could be getting Kvitova versus Rabakina. Or Hadaj Maya taking on Jabur. I mean, if you want to mix it up a little bit. All right, next section in the draw, you've got one of the biggest first round matches going around. Sakri taking on Mukova. That is a nightmare for Sakri. Mukova can beat anybody anywhere. A very, very tough opponent in the first round. The winner of that match taking on either Podoroska or Poncher in the second. Uh, then you've got Arani taking on Teichman. Winner of that will take on either Bondaire or Bagu, the 27th seed, second round. Uh, then another first round, Lynette taking on Fernandez. Very fun match up there. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Sastovic. Then you've got Jean Jean taking on Birrell. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Bencic, the 12th seed, who hasn't played for the majority of the clay court season, so not sure where she is. But this section, Zachary, Bencic, Lynette, even Bagu's been in good form this year on the clay. Mukaba. Fernandez. I mean, there's a lot of tough players in there. Right, let's go to the next quarter. So you've got Samson Over taking on Volley Nets. Winner of that will take on either Pavlyuchenkova or Fruvatova in the second round. Then you've got Sharif taking on Brengel. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Potapova in the next second round. And then you've got Mertens taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either McNally or Bogdan in the second round. 
Then you got Cornet versus Georgie. Winner of that will take on either Collins or the number three Pagula. That is another tough first round for a seed. Pagula Collins. Very, very tough. Again, just like the last quarter, this section of the draw is very, very open. I mean, Collins, uh, Pagula obviously made the you know, made a deep run here last year. Georgie Cornet can be dangerous. Um, Potapova has been in good form. Sharif has been good. Pavlyuchenkova made a final here. So this section, again, it could be a nightmare and it could be a bit random. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Sakri section. So if the seeds play out, we'll get Sakri taking on Pagula. But more likely, we're going to get something a little more random. Maybe Pagula taking on Bencic, because I think Bencic can get some wins, uh, could could make a run. Or this section could really just have two random players in the quarterfinals. I mean, all right, bottom corner of the draw, you've got the number five seed Garcia taking on Wong in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Blinkova or Bonaventure in the second. Then you've got Diaz taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Svetolina or Trevison. Then you've got Ostapenko taking on Martin Kova. Winner of that will take on either Stearns or Siniakova in the second round. Then you've got Von Drusova versus Parks. Winner of that will take on either Niemeyer or the number nine seed, Kazakina. In the second round, this section's interesting because Ostapenko, we know what she can do. Garcia can be good too, but just hasn't been really good this year. Uh, maybe, you know, the pressures of being, you know, the top 10 rather than being the underdog might be getting to her. And Dasha, she obviously made the semis last year, but there's Von Drusova. Very dangerous player in that in that uh, draw as well. The bottom section of the draw we've got, we've got Pliskova taking on Stevens. First round, very, very fun matchup there. A winner of that will take on either Gracheva or Gelfi in the second round. Then you've got Putinseva taking on Zinevska. Winner of that will take on either a Qualifier or Zhang in the second round. Then you've got Song taking on Fre. Winner of that will take on either a Qualifier or Rakamova in the second round. Then you've got Udvadi taking on Qualifier Winner of that will take on either Kostyuk or the number two seed, Sabalenka. Sabalenka, that is a tough first round against Kostyuk. So potentially in this section, I mean, Zhang, we know last year at the French Open took a set of Sviantec, which no one was doing at the time. Pliskova, Stevens, got to watch out for both of them. Obviously, Sabalenka, we're going to be looking at her. But man, that first round for Sabalenka is tough. And of course, this section in the quarterfinals will be taking on the Garcia section. So we could be getting Sabalenka Garcia. We could be getting Sabalenka Kazakina. If you want to go by the big seed. Well, let me know in the comments below if you're watching this later. Or let me know in the chat right now who is going going to win this event. Who is going to win the French Open? I'm picking Sviante because I am uh, boring. But you tell me in the chat, what do you reckon? Who's going to win the French Open for 2023? There's a lot of players. A lot of the contenders have tough first rounds and a lot of the... Uh Except for Sviantec, except for Sviantec. But there you go, there is the draw for the French Open of 2023 for the lady. 